This video will be covering how to properly fill out the accounts import template so that your data will be transposed into your system correctly and that the accounts that you link together will function as designed. When filling out our upload templates, it's very important to keep in mind that columns should not be added nor taken away from the template and that the header column should stay labeled the same as it is now. Also, the most important fields to fill out on this template are going to be columns A through S. Anything after column S should be left blank. Credit card details can no longer be added to this template due to PCI regulations. The company field is used to link a group of accounts together. Let's first review some of the important terms that apply to accounts in Limo Anywhere. An account is a billing contact, a passenger, and or a booking contact. It can also be a combination of all three. Billing contacts are people that receive invoices and payment receipts. Passengers are people that take rides with you. A passenger account can only be linked to one billing contact. Booking contacts are people that arrange trips for passengers. A booking contact can only be linked to one billing contact. In our first example, I'll be setting up accounts for a company called Green Electric Sales Group. This company has one billing person who does not take a ride with us. However, they take care of three passengers' bills. The first thing I'll need to do is put an X in the billing contact field and leave the passenger field blank because he does not take rides with our company. Next, I'll give him an account number, add his first and last name, then put in his company name. After all that, I'll add the address, phone number, and email address, plus any notes that I want to be under his account. Now to properly link the billing contact account to the passenger accounts, I will add the billing contacts account number to their parent account number field. Keep in mind that the company name has to be spelled exactly the same as the parent or billing contact account. Next, we'll put an X under the passenger account column give them an account number, and enter any other information I would like to see on this account. I'll show you two more examples on how to link passenger accounts to their billing contact. Here's what it looks like once the accounts are linked properly and imported into the system. If you have a larger account that has multiple billing contacts that pay for certain passengers, we can set that up in the template by using the method we just went over. I'll show you how that would look on the template now. Next, I'll show you how to add an account that pays for their own rights. I'll place an X in the billing contact and passenger account columns, give them an account number, add their first and last name, and add any other information that I might want on the account. We're currently working on a new system for importing data into your Limo Anywhere. Until that system is launched, you will need to add booking contacts the same way you would add passengers and link them to their correct billing contact. By using this method, we could easily change the account to a booking contact once the upload has been completed. I would also recommend adding a letter B in front of the first name so that it's easier to find when going into the account section to change all the passenger accounts to booking contacts. I'll show you an example of this now. 